So this is my autograph collection. Uh, this is Trevor Butterfield's autograph. Um, he plays Bosk, a officer, and a few other people. I have two of these. I've got uh, two different photos signed by him. And then we have one by uh, Chris Bunn, who was a stormtrooper in episode four. Then we've got uh, Sandeep Mohan, who played a Scarif Trooper in Rogue One. He also was um, Stormtroopers in Episode 7, 8 and 9. Uh, he's in quite a lot of scenes, I believe. I, I was talking to him about him. And uh, he was in that scene where Kylo Ren throws a hissy fit. He <laughs> uh, was a Stormtrooper and a Snow Trooper. Um, he was also a Stormtrooper that put Han Solo in the Carbon Freezing Chamber in Empire Strikes Back. Um, now we have Nick Davidson. He was a um, Imperial officer in Rogue One. Uh, nice guy, pretty cool. Now we have a, uh, another photo by Chris Bunn. Um, I think I actually have three of these. Yeah, I do have three of these. And uh, then we have uh, one by Ian McDermott himself, the guy that plays the Emperor. Then we have Chris Bunn again. Last but not least, we have Boba Fett, signed by Jeremy Bullock. So this is my Funko Pop collection, starting with Darth Vader, Yoda, Yoda Spirit, Princess Leia, a White Stormtrooper, a Red Stormtrooper, Boba Fett, C-3PO, Jabba the Hutt, uh, Wicket, Bib Fortuna, TIE Fighter Pilot, Han Solo Hoth, E-3PO, the 2015 Galactic Convention, Amos Vader, that was my very first pop. Biker Scout, Emperor Palpatine, Luke Skywalker Hoff, R2-D2, Admiral Akbar, Snow Trooper, Imperial Guard, Finn, BB-8, Captain Phasma, First Order Snow Trooper, First Order Flame Trooper, Finn with the Stormtrooper armor, Nine Numb, Han Solo, Luke Crate version, Plo Koon, Boba Fett, Smuggler's Bounty, Boba Fett, he's pretty cool. Guavian, Ray, Poe Dameron, Luke Skywalker, Yoda, Jin Erso, Captain Cassian Andor, Baze Malbus, Ray, Young Jin Erso, she's got the little doe on her hand, Combat Assault Tank Trooper from the 2017 Summer Convention, Clone Commander Cody, which is my favourite, Darth Vader, Red Chrome, Scarif Stormtrooper, C2B5, Darth Vader from Rogue One, uh, Director Orson Krennic, I need to take that sticker off. <laughs> this is my Clone Commander Cody. He's like my favourite pop. He just looks so cool. The detail is insane. Uh, I'm a massive fan of the 212th. And uh, yeah, he's just really cool. I'm so glad I picked him up when I did. Moving on to Finn. Poe Dameron. Luke Skywalker. Chewbacca with the Porg in his hand. Supreme Leader Snoke. Praetorian Guard. BB-90. Kylo Ren. Lando Calrissian. Chewbacca. Han Solo. Padme Amidala. Uh, Vice Admiral Haldo, Young Anakin Skywalker, the pod race inversion, Resistance BB unit, I actually have two of them because I got given one as a gift and I already had one, so, you know, i got two now. Kira, Tobias Beckett, Val, uh, Rio Durant, L337, uh, Enfys Nest, Ahsoka, which is a really cool one, I love that pop, it's really cool. Obi-Wan, again, another really cool one. Emperor Palpatine, Darth Vader, we're getting shocked by the lightning. Uh, Princess Leia, Endor, Han Solo, Endor, Django Fett, uh, the gold, the matte gold version. Um, I want the normal standard coloured one because it looks quite cool, but it's hard to get hold of. Uh, Christmas Chewbacca, Christmas Yoda, Christmas R2 D2, pretty cool. Lando Calrissian, Gold Boba Fett, 2019 Galactic Convention. Uh, Boba Fett from the animated series, Ray. Kylo Ren, Supreme Leader, Finn, Poe Dameron, Dio, uh, Cal Kestis and BD-1, Quill, IG-11, Cara Dune, The Mandalorian, I actually have two of those, one in the box and one out of the box, uh, Sith Jet Trooper, Jana, BB-8, Darth Vader Lights and Sounds, he's pretty cool, um, it's kind of hard to get a good angle on him because of the sun glare, but yeah, he lights up and makes sounds. The Client, Grief Karga, Heavy Infantry Mandalorian, uh, Q90, Incinerator Stormtrooper, he's really cool, probably one of the best Funko Pop designs in a long time, I really like that one. Off World Jawa, you can tell the difference with the red eyes as opposed to the yellow eyes. Uh, Covert Mandalorian, a pretty cool one, looks like a female Mandalorian I think. 
the armorer, uh, Death Watch Mandalorian two straps. Uh, Luke Skywalker on Yoda. This is a really cool pop. You can see Yoda on his back. It's so detailed. It's insane. Uh, Han Solo and Carbonite. 40th anniversary Leia and Han Solo two pack. Uh, you got the Tarful Emperor and two twelve clone three pack. Really cool. Uh, the Death Star three pack with a gunner officer and a trooper. Again, that's cool. Some two mighty mugs. I don't know why they're there, but they are. The Child, of course. A really cool pop. And then we have my uh, big Millennium Falcon, uh, Han Solo and Millennium Falcon Funko Pop. Got that for Christmas from my sisters, actually. Cost them quite a bit, so thank you to them. Dio, Boba Fett, the black and red version as opposed to the red and black version. Uh, uh, Luke Skywalker on his Tauntaun, the 40th anniversary one. The detail on this one is so insane. Again, it's hard to see because of the sun glare. Uh, sorry about that. But uh, yeah, he's insane. Uh, Darth Vader and his meditation chamber again the detail on this is insane this detail even inside of the meditation chamber supreme leader Kylo Ren in his whisper ship uh, the first order tread speed up escape pod landing with C3PO and R2D2 cantina face off McClunky with uh, Han Solo and Greedo um, again this is only available at Walmart which is uh, quite hard to get hold of in the UK uh, Wicket and a TIE fighter pilot now we're moving on to my Lego. This is my Lego Y-Wing. I've had this quite a long time. It's a pretty cool ship. Uh, I love it. Uh, now we've got my 20th Lego Star Wars Anniversary Snowspeeder. Again, the detail on this is pretty cool for a Lego figure. Uh, now we've got my A-Wing. I got this the same time as I got my Y-Wing. Um, not much to say about it, but it's cool. My X-Wing, which is my favourite Lego ship that I own. Um, again, it's Luke Skywalker's X-Wing. And uh, yeah, I love this X-Wing. You can see it in pretty much all of the uh, free movies Anakin Skywalker's pod racer really cool I uh, don't really like the frame it comes with but there wasn't really any way they could do it these are my smaller Lego sets these are um, Darth Vader, Luke Skywalker, Han Solo and Lando from the 20 years of Lego Star Wars I'm only missing Leia uh, but I need the slave one to get her uh, this is the small uh, Imperial dropship it's actually the, the new one as opposed to the old one um, part of the 20th uh, anniversary line. An ATRT, which clearly isn't to scale, but still looks really cool. Uh, yeah, that's that. It's pretty cool. My Hoff turret. I don't actually remember the name of these. I think it's like a Hoff turbo laser or something like that. I can't remember. But they use it in the um, Attack on Hoff scene where the ATATs come down. This is a spider droid or a sniper droid. I, I don't know the real name for them. This is my TIE Fighter, with my mini TIE Fighter and my mini uh, Snowspeeder. And um, I got this while I was in London, it was a gift from my from my girlfriend. And uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. Well, you can even open the front of it uh, and see the little TIE Fighter pilot, the, if I can get it open. You can see the little TIE Fighter pilot on the inside. It's quite detailed, pretty cool. Wasn't very hard to build. Now we've got Anakin Skywalker's Starfighter, which is pretty similar to Obi-Wan Starfighter from episode 2 uh, but I think this is one from the Clone Wars you can see Anakin on the inside there and then R2-D2 in the front now this is my Lego minifigure collection I've got most of these from like Christmas calendars and Lego sets and stuff I'm not too sure how many there is but I've got two um, keychains I got from Legoland when I went for my nephew's birthday <laughs> Now this is probably my favourite part of my room with my Hot Toys and Side Trek collection. This is obviously Obi-Wan Kenobi from Episode 3. You can see you've got the, uh, the, the, the the hologram of Darth Vader and Emperor Palpatine. you got the battle droid, the broken battle droid. You've even got Baby Luke that you can go with. But look at the detail on his face. Uh, his lightsaber does light up but I, I don't like turning it on. His red boots. His face got the Sphero R2-D2 in the back. Um, He's pretty cool. Uh, he moves around and stuff. You can control him with an app on your phone. The two, Darth Vader and the Emperor, they, they light up if you just turn it on at the bottom. They've got Darth Vader. Uh, this is the Sideshow Darth Vader, the deluxe version. Uh, he lights up his belt. His, his lightsaber doesn't. His belt and the base does. They both light up the base just around there. This is a small little Hasbro R2-D2 I got back in 2005. I got uh, My great-granddad bought this for me, so it's like 
it means a lot to me. Uh, nice. I always keep it in my room. It's probably one of my favourite things here. Um, we got the Hot Toys Ray. She's really cool. The detail on her is insane. Uh, BB-8 as well. Um, BB-8 lights up. Uh, Ray does as well. If you put the lightsaber in her hand, she, the lightsaber lights up. But I don't pose her with the lightsaber. Then we've got some random stuff in the bottom. Uh, we've got some Sideshow Darth Maul. Um, the Hot Toys Darth Maul does look a lot better. But the Sideshow one's not too bad. I've got the droids with it too. So um didn't cost a lot. I got the Finn and FN2199, I think it is, the Riot Stormtrooper. Um, two pack. Uh, Finn's quite detailed. Um, on his face, it does look like John Boyega. Uh, the camera will focus. No, I don't think the camera's going to focus, but anyway, the detail on the jacket and the, the trousers, the boots, everything is really good. Of course, it focuses now. <laughs> Then we've got Boba Fett, this is the Hot Toys Boba Fett with the Sarlacc Pit, the deluxe version. Um, I've got like a shrine to Boba Fett in this this part of my Ikea Detolf case. You see my little bobblehead too. Um, and obviously you've got the, the Sarlacc Pit, but obviously it doesn't, it's not to scale, but they can't really make it to scale. You've got the detail on him, is insane. Look at that, all the detail on there. And then my little Mandalorian front I've got my spare one, I have two. Then we've got my clones and my stormtroopers. We got a clone commander Bly on the right hand side. Uh standard phase one clone trooper, which is a clone commander, and then you got a snow trooper, really good detail. And a sand trooper. That clone trooper is a phase one clone commander. This is all of them all together. So yeah, it's pretty cool. It's my favourite part of my room. Then we've got my Clone Commander Cody uh, Sideshow Premium Format figure. There's only a thousand of these because this is the deluxe version uh, where you can change the helmet to the Phase 1. I think mine's 592 or something like that. But he's so cool. The detail is insane. He's a quarter scale figure. Um, so he's a lot bigger than them Hot Toys that I just showed you. Uh, yeah, but the detail is insane. He did have like a grappling hook on the front of the gun but I took that off. I didn't like it. Even the base is incredibly detailed. There are some drawings I did when I was a kid. Uh, some things on the wall. Big X-wing on my door with a cow behind it. <laughs> my uh, Inferno Squad, my Battlefront 2 PS4 Pro. Um, pretty cool. My Star Wars Battlefront PS4 controllers, Battlefront 1 and Battlefront 2. Battlefront 1 is on the bottom. Battlefront 2 is the one above it. Uh, my Star Wars Battlefront 1 PS4 with a Nintendo Switch on top. <laughs> Big BB-8, got that one I used to work at Toys R Us before it closed down. Uh, phase 1 Clone Trooper helmet, custom painted by someone I bought it off on eBay. John Mogridge signed uh, Snow Trooper box, that's for the Snow Trooper, the hot uh, Sideshow um, side Snow Trooper. Some candles, Torn Torn Millennium Falcon, Yoda's cooking pot, Han Solo and Carbonite, and the lightsaber door. Millennium Falcon that I got when I was a kid, it's made out of like scrap metal, you can see like the horseshoes, spark plugs. Um, a bike gear, there's loads of stuff in there, uh, it's really cool. I got a uh, TIE Fighter lamp, I think I got this for Christmas, I think, so. I got it for, I think my mum got it for me for Christmas from Mankind. Moving over to my books, I've got quite a lot of books, I've got uh, Lost Stars, Ahsoka, uh, Attack of the Clones, I've got all the episode 1, 2, and 3, Catalyst, Rogue One Catalyst, Stars Battlefront 2, Inferno Squad. I also have Battlefront 1 as well, Rise of Skywalker, I haven't read that yet, I need to read that. Uh, Let's Clone Wars books and comics, um, Darth Plagueis, uh, Empire Strikes Back, there's loads, I've got, um, oh, what's it called, the Aftermath Trilogy down the bottom there. Um, but yeah, that's basically it. I think I've got Lords of the Sith as well, right at the very bottom. Uh, it's also where I keep most of my smaller Lego figures. Last but not least is my Star Wars Destiny cards. Uh, I've got loads of these. I bought loads of booster boxes when they were on sale. Um, I don't know how many I've got. I think I've got over a thousand. Uh, I've got quite a few duplicates as well because you do tend to get duplicates in booster boxes, but they're actually useful in Star Wars Destiny to have duplicates because you need multiple die for some things. Here's some of my rarer ones. Um, Obi-Wan Kenobi or Old Ben. 
There's loads of rare heroes in there. Some rare cards in general, some legendary cards. Captain Phasma. Um, Boba Fett, which is my favourite card. I love that one. Uh, and I think I've got yeah Ray, and I think I've got Kylo Ren as well. I'll just have a look. Yeah, Kylo Ren. Um, I won't show you them all because it'll just take forever. I've got loads of dice as well. Or dice, should I say? You've got loads of them. The yeah, Kylo Ren and Ray came in a uh, starter bundle. Now I'll take a quick span of the whole of my room. <laughs> yeah, it's not a massive room, and I have to store stuff the best I can. But this is basically how it spans out. You can see my X-wing on the door, come under Cody, uh, this, and some posters of Revenge of the Sith and Rogue One Darth Vader. Yeah, Jamie Lannister saw. But anyway, if you like the uh, video, please like and subscribe. Uh, leave a comment down below. Send me a link to your collection. I'd love to have a look. And uh, thanks for watching.